What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to be simply walking you through some simple software, software I've been using and, and building an online business around since 2018. So from landing pages to sales funnels to shopping carts to email automation, tags, email sequences, all the above, every little moving component that you could possibly need to build anything online really um, is necessary through or, or, or is to build anything. Yeah, it's, 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 it's required. It's, it's mandatory. It's necessary to have the right tools, right? The right tools in place. And again, I've been, if you've been following me on this channel for a while, I've been promoting Kartra since 2018. Um, it's, it's the one and only software I've used to build my business which has been an agency, which has been an agency, um, a digital publishing company, and now also affiliate marketing because, um, well, not now also, it's just since 2018, I've been promoting the shit out of Kartra, right? Because they pay a 40% reoccurring commission. I'm the type of affiliate marketer where if I'm going to talk about a product, if I'm going to, if I'm going to get fired up about a product, it better be a product that I'm using. It better be a, a product that, that I benefit from. It better be a product that that's freaking paying me. Right? So that's what I love about affiliate marketing through software because software typically a landing page software, a click funnels, for example, an email autoresponder, a, a, um, 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 a MailChimp or whatever, right? These different types of softwares, an online calendar, these different types of softwares are reoccurring. So if you can be an affiliate on the other end of it and actually promote it and recommend it to maybe your clients or recommend it to the market that you're, you're tapping into, and if you can make that commission, why not? And that's what Kartra has really done for me. But I'm going to show you how basic it is. It, it's allowed me to really build an affiliate commission, an affiliate freaking business, and a, a, a monthly reoccurring income through a marketing being paid passively being paid residually being paid reoccurring every 30 days because someone's paying a damn bill right and in this case they're paying their their landing page bill they're paying their email automate auto, autoresponder bill right all in one all in Kartra so today man I'm going to be simply putting together um, one of my clients reached out and said David I'm on Kartra I'm all in can you just put together some some basic templates that I can work off of, um, but just get the damn thing up and going. And, and, and do you think you can help me? I said, sure, man, let me let me do that. And let me make a video for all of you guys at the same time. If you're again in the business of, of, of building something online, or if you're just simply in the business of, 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 of appointments, right? Re appointments, you're in the business of getting appointments, or you're in the business of capturing leads, or you're in the business of making sales, right? Online sales, right? If you're especially in any of those three service-based businesses, that's why I really use Kartra as well. I really use Kartra a few different reasons, a few different reasons, but the three main reasons why I really use it and why I always recommend it to my clients is mainly because of the email automation, number one. When you're capturing leads online, you guys, you have to be, you have to be automating the, the 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 nurturing you have to be automating the communication of that lead with that lead you got to be building that relationship on autopilot right and it's going to happen via email it's going to happen because they came to your website entered their name and email whether they were opting in to watch a, a free training class a free webinar whether they were opting in to download something right you were giving them access to something you were giving them a, a free download a free pdf a free ebook whatever right they're jumping into your world you're capturing the lead right that lead needs to be nurtured and you want to automate those those nurturings which is which is email automation that's that's the main main reason why a Kartra is is super super you know effective. That's one re huge reason why I use it in my day to day business, right? The second one is the pages. I need to be able to land to create landing pages. I need to be able to create basic page pages that when someone clicks and they land, there's some type of call to action. There's some type of click here, enter your name and email to to watch now, or enter your name and email to download your free seller guide. Enter your name and email to download your free seller guide or free buyer guide. Enter your name and email to get information to this listing, right? Whatever it may be, if you're trying to get someone to click go over to a page, enter their name and email, that is a landing page. That's a basic web page, basic landing page, basic squeeze page, whatever the hell you want to call it. But that's a that's the second and, and most required tool that any of us needs when, when it comes to building any type of presence online. They got to click and go to a page. There's pages. That's the second main, main reason why I benefit and, and use Kartra. And then, and then the third one is the calendar. If you're in the business of appointments, you're a real estate agent, you're an insurance agent, you're a social media agency, whatever. If your whole objective 
objective is to build a brand and put out put out put out certain posts or put or put out certain links or put out certain type of call to actions where your main objective is to get someone on the on the phone right you're a real estate agent your main objective is to get me on the phone to qualify me to see if I'm that next buyer of yours you're a real estate agent your job is to get me on the phone to really find out if, if, if I really want to list my home with you, right? You're in the appointment, you're in the business of appointments. If that's you, right? Many different businesses out there, service-based businesses, what I call client services businesses, client, client services, where you're in, the, you're, you're in the client services business, that that's where you're, yeah, definitely, um, going for appointments. That's calendar. That's, that's my calendar. So that's the three biggest, the three main, main reasons why I use car chair. Those are the three, three main tools that anyone would have to pay for separately, right? Three individual monthly payments normally. Um, but with car chair, it's all been in one. And so that's why a lot of people are like, dude, I like click funnels or, or I like Kajabi. It's like, dude, that's cool. I would go to click funnels too, but it's, it's the same price for just the pages. I still need to go get an email autoresponder. I still have to go out and get a calendar. And, and if you're like me building online, um, building online courses, right? You got to go out there and get a Kajabi to host your course, right? When I could just come over here into Kartra and host it here, which is really the fourth, fourth main reason why I personally use Kartra is because I'm able to host my membership. Right now I'm in a client's account, so there's nothing here. But but my I've been building an agency. I've been teaching real estate agents how to, how to market on social media, how to run Facebook ads um, for all real estate. I've been doing that. All, all day, every day, in the trenches since 2016, right? That's what I built my channel around. So a lot of the content, a lot of the videos, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications. But I've been dropping videos like that, you know, documenting really what I'm doing, how I'm bringing aboard a client or what I'm doing for a client or simple Facebook ads running for a client, right? I've been, I've been doing that and teaching that to agents since 2016. Um, um, started talking about it on YouTube, right? I also have a course that I run ads to, to get agents to buy it, right? That's my digital course. Typically, you'd have to host that on a Kajabi. You'd have to, you'd have to upgrade the ClickFunnel package to the 300 a month and freaking host it there. So it's like, dude, you got to already juggle multiple softwares. And I'm like, dude, that, that's what I don't want to be doing, right? So, so for me, Kartra, I host my membership course, 55 videos, straight fire. I, I, I provide it to real estate agents and, and, and that's my whole online, online learning um, side of my business that for sure 2022 is just the beginning, right? So that's that for me. And then the last one, mainly, 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 I mean, shit, not to mention I can, I can, I can package everything I'm doing. My funnels, I built, I built a, 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 a opt-in page and a thank you page. My um, membership course, my email sequence, in my email sequence, which is my drip, my email automation, let's say, for example, I have 17 emails all up in there, written, freaking ad copy is amazing in it, right? Call to actions, optimized, every email is optimized, there's 17. So as someone opts into my page, they get emails, they get 17 over the next two to three days from this point on, right? Pure automation. I could bring all those assets together, package it all up, put a freaking red bow on it and create a campaign in my campaigns and I could sell it to people. But in my case, building an agency, doing these types of services for real estate agents, what I do is I just give them, as long as they get on Kartra with me and I could teach them and coach them how to use these landing pages, which I'm gonna take you through a brief tutorial right now and show you how simple this is. But, but be, anyone that gets going with me, I just simply give them a funnel. I already have that entire funnel in my campaigns where I could just give it. I can create a share code and give it to people. But I also on the back end, what I could, what I can always do is sell it to people. But I don't do that. Again, I, I get my clients on it, right? So as long as my clients are, are, are on the account, they have their own Karcher account, I can transfer my campaign over to them. A full blown funnel, right? Imagine getting a full blown funnel from someone. They're like, and, you know, that that's value, you guys. So I have a ton of funnels already done for my clients, for example. So getting them onto Kartra is kind of a no brainer because I'm like, dude, these are the these are the basic tools you're gonna need. Forget about me get, giving you the damn funnel, and it's, and I just saved you freaking ten days of you having to learn how to create the damn funnel yourself. Not only did I save you time there, here's the damn funnel, but these these three main ones again: my communications, my pages. My calendar. Those are the three main, main tools that, it, that, that you would need if you're in the client services business and you're trying to build something online, right? Those three main tools. So that alone justifies $99 a month. And then what I also do is I tell my clients, I'm like, dude, get on the account. I'll transfer the funnel to you. Plus you have all my time for free. 
So, so if you guys are coming across my channel, there's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. Simply activate a 14 day trial, man. If you're trying to do anything online, if any of this shit makes sense to you, right? If these are, are, are tools that you're like, damn, David, I pay a separate company for this. I pay a separate company for that. If that's you, dude, I'm telling you, activate a 14 day freaking trial and, and simply compare it. You don't got to commit. Like you don't got to pay your hundred bucks right now. No, dude, just 14 day trial, compare it to whatever the hell you're doing and, and see if it doesn't save you money, but, but save you he headache. Like I'm in one account, man. That's it. I run everything out of one account, right? So in this case, I, I can give my, my, my campaigns, which are funnels, I can give them to people or, or, or again, sell them. But then also the last one, last one for me is my affiliate promos at the very, very bottom left, my affiliate, my affiliate promos right here to the bottom left. That right there is major, you guys. That's why when you click on the link in the description, profitwithkartra.online, and you activate a 14 day trial, you'll get an email from me regarding all my trainings, regarding my calendar, regarding how to get me on a line. My, it's, it's what I give back, back to the community to really help you freaking succeed. Because yes, I'm an affiliate. So it's like, shit, man, if I can keep you on the account forever and help you build a successful business, then, then my back end residual that tends to build and shit. I'm so thankful for Kartra's monthly income. I am very, very thankful for that. And it's only, it's only the beginning. So 2020, 2022 and beyond, I'll be even getting more clients on the damn software, right? Because it, it only makes sense, dude. It's like, all those. Okay, cool. And it's going to be this simple to, to, to create funnels, which we're going to jump into right now. So my last reason is the affiliate, the affiliate promo side of, of Kartra. You refer it to other people. You make 40% of, of a hundred bucks um, every month. And that's on the basic plan. I have some, some people are on the, on a higher plan with Kartra. Right. And the only thing that that's different on different on the plans is really how much, how much storage you need. If you're hosting a ton of videos on Kartra, which you don't necessarily have to do, you can host, if you have a shitload of videos, like I do, I host them on Vimeo and then put them on Kartra. I could host them on Kartra, but that takes bandwidth. And that's where the, the, the difference in prices monthly start to make a difference is if you're using a lot of bandwidth because you have a ton of videos on here hosted on here or if you have a shitload of emails if you have tens of thousands of emails that's what determines the monthly price and this is general this is for every software you can't get away from this this is what softwares you know bank on is the fact that you have a a a, a 55 000 list you know lead list and, and, and that's bandwidth that we're going to have to, we're going to need. So that's what you're paying on really. So to beginning to, in the very, very beginning, you shouldn't need no more than the basic plan. You guys, a starter plan. That's what I'm still on to this day. But, um, but again, sometimes that monthly commission could be a little higher. So it's like, it's 40% of, of normally a hundred. So I got, I don't even have a ton of people, man. I have like, I, I think I have like, like 55, 60 people. So do the math 60 times 40, you know, dollars a month that's not a bad residual income. So if, if, if I can come over here and help you guys actually succeed and possibly stay on a few extra more months, it's like, shit, dude, that's what I'm in it for. So click the link in the description, you guys. Let me show you how simple this is. I'm going to come over here. There's nothing here, right? This is a new account. I did not transfer any funnels over to this client's account. I'm going to be setting something up basic and something so, so simple. And I'm going to be doing it from scratch, right? So Here's what we do. We come in here and right away to the left, we click on my pages. Okay, so all I got to do is click on this green one right here to the bottom right, click on the green plus, and then in here, squeeze pages, video sales pages, thank you pages, long sales pages. Template after template after template after template is already done for you. It's already done for you, dude. The template is freaking already there. Product review, what do you want? Webinar registration. All these different, all these different um, templates that are already done for you, right? So again, what I was mentioning a few minutes ago is that I create shit too, and that's a form of done for you for my client, right? I give them the funnel, so it's like, dude, like they can plug in to my template just like I could plug in to all of these Karcher templates, right? And 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 just simply have it transferred. So for example, I'm gonna come over here. All I want in this case, this is gonna be. I'm putting together a simple landing, a simple funnel for a client who is looking for more clients. So really, it comes down to a landing page. It comes down to a thank you page. It comes down to a button for your calendar. Really, that really that's it. And then on the back end, on the Facebook ad side, you want to for sure set up your custom audiences. You want to integrate your domain. You want to in install your pixel on the page. Thank you page opt-in page, right? Pixel needs to be on, on both, right? Um, custom conversion needs to be set up around the, around the thank you page, right? So there's a few things you want to do to optimize the page, the, the two pages, 
squeeze page, thank you page, for example. Um, a few things you need to do in the ads manager, but today we're going to just focus on these, on these, on these two basic pages, man, two basic pages. But in here, you can see Karcher has a shitload of freaking look blog post. They already add the template, dude. The template is already done. Look at that. The template is already done. Look at that. Look at that. Blog homes, blog homes, right? You guys want to create a blog? Shit. There's some templates, personal branding. I can come over here and, 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 and choose one of these, Ch choose this page right here and just create a, a brand, a personal brand, you know, page with some links, linking out to some free downloads, linking out to my YouTube channel, right? Linking out to my Facebook, putting some client testimonials, whatever. That's a simple branded, you know, type of freaking template, which is kick ass, dude. So in this case, I'm simply going to basic pages, squeeze page, thank you page. And I'll explain why, why, why they're both so freaking important. Okay. So in this case, squeeze page, the, here are a few different templates. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with a video slot one. So this one right here, for example, this is what it looks like, right? Orange bar at the top. There's the, 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 the placeholder for the name and email. There's the, the submit button. There's a video. So headline, and then boom, down here, the footer, that's your basic capture page, man. That's your basic capture page. Um, that has a video on it. This is a template with a video. That's a video. The blue over here has a basic image, right? So, so there, there's a few different templates, a few different examples. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have, I'm going to have the client do a video. So if that's the case, we're going to go with, um, we're going to simply go with, with, um, with this one. So I'm going to select. So this is the opt-in page, you guys. This is the opt-in page, okay? So squeeze page, squeeze page. Let's just let's just name this one um client opt in client opt-in. Okay. And we won't put it in any category category right now. We'll just put no category, no site. I'll explain that part later. But but no category, um, no site name the page, right? I see this internally. So that's what the, the page will be named and then boom, create. So now it brings me into the builder. That's where I'm going now is into the builder where I can now, where I can now um, um, change out the color. I can change the text. I can add a, okay, page name. That one, that one already exists. Actually, here we go. Okay, we're good. So in here, I can change out and make edits to anything. Now, as I come in, as I come into the basic builder builder part of it, right? This is the template. I can I can update this top right here, hover over each one, click on the pencil. So if I if I want to link the word home, right? So I hover over the word home, I click on the little pencil. You'll see a little pen. Let me let's let this page load real quick. Okay, so hover over home. There's a little pencil, or I can exit out and I can delete it, right? I can delete it, but I can just simply hit the pencil, uh, open it up. I can change out the text. I can change out the link. Um, and that's really what I want to do. So as I click on the pencil to edit, anytime you see the pencil, that's that's the edit. Or if it's a or or certain headlines and you see the T, that's for the text. So in this case, I could change out the color of that white, right? I could change out the text. I can I can add an icon to it. I can link it, which is what I want to do. I want to link it to another page. I can link it to so many different things, right? I can link it to, to so many different things. But in this case, I can link it to another page. So that could take take a, a, an individual maybe to my maybe to my Facebook page, right? I could put I could put my Facebook page right here, Facebook.com forward slash Cantero Media. Right, I can I, and make sure that this HTTPS is lined up. I'm going to open it up in a new tab. I can hit the green one and boom. Now, as this page goes live, they click on home, takes them straight to my Facebook. Right, so so basic editing, man. That's what I use this for. So look how powerful this is. There's the there's the basic headline. I'm going to just hit the T, and then I can I can I can edit this 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 text right here. Right, I can put whatever. I can change the color. Um, this is a video slot over here. So this right here, I can either remove it, I can exit out, or I can even work off of it. That's a that's a video slot, and I'm gonna I'm gonna work off of it. I'm gonna have the client do a video, right? So right here, I can host that video on Kartra, which I probably will because it'll probably be like a like a one minute video, right? We'll host that one on Kartra. Anything longer, 
depending if it's for a membership course, I'll put it on, on Vimeo and then, and then host it over here on a Kartra page in a Kartra membership course, for example. But, but, um, if it's a different type of page, I'll maybe link a YouTube video since I'm building a YouTube channel, right? So you come to my page, you watch the damn video. It's a YouTube video that I embedded by simply clicking over here, right? Adding the link right there. So depending on your strategy, you, again, you can, you, can, you can host it on Kartra, host it on YouTube, or, or I'll, I like to host it on Vimeo, right? Um, for membership and for long form video. But, but in this case, we can host that video on Kartra. So I would just Upload it to Kartra or upload it to Kartra first and then come over here and choose that video. And then boom, that video will be right here. And my whole vision for this, the advice I'm going to give my client is that this is going to be a simple funnel, opt-in page, thank you page to capture leads, to capture leads, to get up, to get people, to get appointments, right? He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's an agency owner. His, his, his whole gig is, is doing social media marketing for garages and automotive and, 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 and car lots, anything automotive luxury um, automotive. When, when it comes to video content and, and, and Facebook advertising, he does for a lot of, a lot of automotive businesses, super, super successful business. So in his case, he's looking to put out ads to capture more business, to capture more garage owners that that possibly want to hire him and 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 optimize their social media so these pages that i'm putting together here for you are really for that we're going to take care of the editing later maybe change out the blue to a different color whatever basic editing but the template is already there now i could just hover over any any paragraph any word hit the t and edit that out right but i don't have to recreate it's already there i just work off of it privacy policy down here link my social media links down here and then what I like to do also when I come into a new page is I'll change out the settings. I'll change out the SEO parameter. This is what I named the page in the beginning, right? This is what I wanted. This is what I named it internally. This page title is what an individual sees in the tab. So right here, as you have different websites open, right? As you have different websites open up here in the tab, continuing education class sign up, right? This title in the tab that's what that's what that is so this page title not only do, do i see it internally the page name that's what i named it but but people also see it publicly unless i change it here unless i change it here right so this is going to be a call to action this is what i what what an individual sees in the tab right here at the top right i want them to see schedule call now Boom. They just clicked on an ad they came here this is all about getting someone to schedule a call and, 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 and that's what I want them to see in the tab as they have my page up, as they're on my page, as they click on the ad, right? As they, as they, as they go to the page, I want them to see that in, in the tab. So this is what it looks like. So if I come over here and publish live, so I save progress, I publish live, and then I come over here and grab the link. And I can customize this link for sure. Put my custom domain there. I haven't done that yet. So this is just the raw link. So boom, look, they came straight here. And there's that live page. There's that, there's that live page. That's it. That's it, man. That's it. So this is how simple it is, man. This could be a live page and boom, right here at the top in the, in the tab, schedule call now. Right. So they just saw the ad. They just clicked. Boom. This is going to give them some some copy, some ad copy. This is going to give them a headline that's going to make them want to schedule a call now. Right. Enter their name and email schedule now. Boom. It takes them straight to a calendar where they can where they can schedule their best time. So that that that's it, man. So it's it's the it's the it's the it's the it's the, it's the opt in page, which is the page you're running traffic to in here. You click on settings to the left tracking code down here at the very, very bottom. This is where you install your pixel. So you simply copy and paste in your Facebook pixel. You click on the green one, save progress, publish live, and 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 then and then create your 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 second page. So in here, we'll come back in here and, and edit this later. So we'll just we'll just publish live, and then we'll return to dashboard. So publish live, X that out, and then actions green button again, actions return to dashboard. That's it. So it's like a three click exit. So that's going to bring you back to the dashboard. You guys, I have this one opt-in page. Now what I want to do is I want to create a thank you page. I want to create a confirmation page. Now, again, the whole objective with this basic funnel is to get appointments. So I want you to see my ad, or in this case, the client, right? We want them, we want to show that ad person clicks, 
goes over to the opt-in page, reads something freaking super sexy and super fancy, and they're like, holy shit, I want all that. They enter their name and email. They schedule appointment, right? Calendar pops up. Boom. They schedule the appointment, which I'll show you the calendar. They schedule the appointment, right? They schedule the appointment, and then boom. They land on a confirmation page. Thank you for con- thank you for scheduling. Our appointment is confirmed. Something like that, right? That's a thank you page. And the reason why that second page, the reason why that thank you page, aka confirmation page, thank you for scheduling page, the reason why that's so important, especially if you're running ads, is because is because that's the page that needs to be tracked. Pixel needs to be on it. Custom audience needs to be on it. Custom conversion needs to be on it. That's an audience that you're that 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 is equals a lead to you. Anyone that were to land, anyone that lands on a thank you page is a lead to you. So you want to be able to account for that. You want to be able to calculate that. You want to be able to show for that in your ads manager, right? Looking at your cost per lead, looking at how much you're spending in your ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, shit. It's the same on, on all platforms. The confirmation page needs to be tracked, right? That's how you, you can, you can manage your, your expense, your budget, right? So, um, and, 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 Again, that's an audience. That's a custom audience. Those that land on the thank you page are a custom audience. And, and, and depending on what type of lead they are, you can name it you know, accordingly, but it's an audience or not, but, and, and it's an audience that you must be excluding from seeing future ads, right? So if you're promoting the same stuff, right? You're promoting the same download now, download now, download now. Okay, well then why are people that have already downloaded, why are they still seeing your ad? Right. And it happens to me all the time, dude. And I follow good people. I follow, I'm following people. I'm learning just like you guys are learning. Right. So, so I'm probably following the same people you guys are following. Right. I follow some of these people. I buy courses. I invest in my education. Right. I, I purchase digital courses. I, I, I practice what I preach. Right. So, so I'm, I'm investing in different random things too, man, online courses. And it blows my mind on how, when, after I purchase, I know for a fact they're tracking the purchase. That's my mentor. They, they're doing that for sure, right? But why do I keep seeing their ads? Why do I keep receiving the same damn email, right? Black Friday, shout out to Rudy, you know, bought his, his, his online course on Black Friday. And again, it's not just him. It's freaking happened multiple times with top, top people. And I'm like, damn, dude, really? Your tracking is really not all there. I'm like, I feel like reaching out to him and saying, hey, dude, you need to get, you need to get on Kartra. Like, seriously, dude, because the automation here is insane. Um, but, but, but my point is that that thank you page needs to be tracked because if it's not, then you're, you'll, you'll continue to spend more than you need to be because you're not excluding that audience from seeing future stuff. Um, if I already bought your stuff, I should not be continually receiving that email regarding buying your stuff. If I already bought your stuff, I should not be seeing your ads in my newsfeed about buying your stuff. I already bought your stuff. So why haven't you excluded me, right? That happens from the thank you page. That's why the thank you page is so, so important. And, and another reason why the thank you page is so freaking important, not just that was all the tracking reasons, but, but um, it's also because if you're in the client services business, if you're in the business of, of, of leads, making a sell, or especially trying to get an appointment, if that's you having a thank you page where an individual, they just opted into your thing, right? They just opted into, the, into, your, into your thing. Now they're coming over to this thank you page where it should be, depending on your business, it should be you on video trying to get them to do what you're trying to get them to do. So if you're putting out ads to, to, to give away a free download, if you're putting out ads to, to educate someone on, on something and, and you're getting them to click and you're getting them to your opt-in page where they enter their name and email and your main objective is to make a sell capture a lead, which is what you're doing in that, in that process, right? Or, or not, or, yeah, or, and, or make an appointment, right? So if you're in the appointment business, again, real estate agent, for example, and your whole objective, you're, you're running ads to give away a buyer guide. You're running ads to give away a seller guide. But the moment I opt in and download, enter my name and email to request a download of it, right? I then land on a thank you page where if you're one of my clients, what I teach the real estate space is when an individual lands on your thank you page, this is your, not first impression, but this is your first opportunity to get that appointment. 
So this thank you page is what I call your money page. This is where if you guys are in the, again, in the client services business, I know for a fact you're in the business of appointments, right? I've been in many different client services business. I've been dealing with clients all freaking my life, my adult life, right? Sales and shit like that, right? Clients, 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 appointments, 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 all about freaking appointments, right? So here I teach, put a video on this thank you page. That needs to be a video of you. Hey guys, this is David. Hey, thank you so much for downloading my 2022 buyer guide, you know, my seller guide, my listing guide, my freaking insurance guide, whatever. Thank you for downloading my guide, right? My name is David. Just wanted to personally introduce myself, tell you a little bit about myself, my background, my experience, and why I'm so fired up to help people like you. Um, and also, most importantly, make sure you check your email because I just sent you over the download. So check spam. A lot of times, it, it sometimes it, it could be there, but a lot of times it's in, the, it's in the inbox. So search my name, search your free download. You'll find it. It'll be in your email, your, your email shortly. And also, by the way, make sure you check every email that I got coming your way. Cause over the next few weeks, I'm going to continue to educate you on what it takes to do this. Right? So here I'm saying, thank you here. I'm introducing myself here. I'm saying, Hey, check your email. I just sent it to you. Here is where I'm going for the fourth and final blow. Here is where I'm saying, Hey man. And by the way, if you guys need help now, if you guys have questions now, Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. That's the thank you page. On the thank you page, it's your first opportunity to get people to schedule a call. Thank you page, right? So in this case, I'm going to put together a simple one. I'm going to just, I'm going to just simply get some type of template there, which that one is for video. This one is for video. That one's for video. Another video slot. Let's go with, um, Let's go with, let's go with, let's simply go with, yeah, we can go with anyone. We can go with this one. We'll select that and then we'll hit launch builder. And now we come into the builder of the thank you page, right? So this right here, page name, I'm going to just name it um, client, client opt-in, client thank you. Okay, right? So no category right now, no site right now. We'll do that on another call. Create. So now I'm coming in to the builder, right? Now I'm coming into the builder. The first thing that I do right away is change the page title. Remember at the top, this one right here says schedule call now in the page title, the page tab, right? So as I come in, I want to make sure that I, I change that. I always want to put some type of, of short call to action, right? That one right there, schedule call now. That's pretty call to action -y, right? That's pretty call to action -y. Um, This one is the thank you page. This one is a thank you. Thank you for scheduling. That's this page is thank you for scheduling, right? So, so here I'm going to simply put at the top, thank you for scheduling. And again, that's what they see. Thank you for scheduling. That's what they see at the very, very top. And here, what I'm going to do on this, this, with this page is I'm going to have the client do another video. And you guys, this is simple, short form video on your cell phone. Hey guys, this is David. Thank you so much for scheduling. Our appointment is confirmed. I am so fired up for you guys to, 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 for, for me to get this opportunity to, opportunity to share with you guys how I'm going to be able to help you with this, 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 and this. Our appointment is confirmed. I cannot wait to see you. Here are a few, a few different, different tips and a few different homework assignments that I want you to do before we get on our call. That way you know what to expect. Here's here's number one. Here's number two, right? So I could tell them here, you guys, this is an, a, a thank you. In fact, let me just put this now. Appointment. Appointment, appointment confirmed. That's it, man. That's it. That's it. Appointment confirmed right here. Simple video from the client, right? Saying, hey, thank you. Our, 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 our appointment is scheduled. Change out this text, change out this text, basic, basic. But again, this page is so freaking important for the tracking ability. I need to be able to track that lead. I need to be able to track the fact that that person scheduled an appointment, right? So I want to be able to track that. So so this is the, the, the temporary link. So if I open up this page, now what you'll see here at the top in the tab, thank you for scheduling. Right. That's a that's a that's a confirmation page. So now as I return a dashboard, right, I save progress, publish live, return to dashboard. Now I have two basic pages, opt in page, thank you page. What I want really quick is the list. 
right? I want the list. So I'm going to come over here, my communications list. When they opt into my opt-in page, they need to land on a list. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to simply name this one. I'll just name this one clients. So we'll just give it a name there, hit next back to list and then boom. So there's that basic list, right? So when they opt in, when they opt in, they'll land on a list. Now, what we need to do though, is we need to create a form. Okay, we need to create a form. What I want to do real quick, hover over communications, right? So now I'm on my communications to the left. There goes my list, right? Here goes my drip, my email automation, my email autoresponder, my AKA sequence, right? So as a lead opts in, our whole objective is to get them to schedule a call, right? Schedule the call. This will be a simple video. They just saw the ad. They just clicked on the ad. They came over here simple video encouraging them to click enter their name and email and schedule a call right so 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 the moment they do they're they're going over they're 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 scheduling they're landing on the thank you the appointment confirm page automatically that person is in a sequence and that's what we're going to tell the system we're going to set up a sequence that's the automated emails right so so depending on if you want to automate that or depending on um yeah, if you want to automate those emails, then, then that's what you want to do. Certain campaigns, for sure. You want a series of emails going out. So again, that's the main, main reason, man, is email automation. Email automation, so, so important. These leads need to be nurtured. That, that's, that's going to be sequences right here. In fact, you know what? Let me just set one up real quick. Sequence, this is going to be clients, just like we named the other one. Thank you. Thank you for being an amazing client. Um, that's just a, a, a simple description. And then boom. So that lead, once that lead comes in, right, they're on a list, they're in a sequence where I now have a handful of emails that I'm going to pre-write that go into the sequence, that go into order. I can set up the scheduling. I can go one goes out every other day. I can go one goes out every day. I can go one goes out every three hours, whatever, right? I can set up those emails um, based on whatever timestamp. But, but what I typically do is I'll send one out every, every other day or every three days or every five days, right? So this is the sequence. So now up here, I'm going to tell the starting rule. I'm going to tell the system, I'm going to tell the system, anyone who opts in or anyone who's on this list, anyone who subscribes to this list clients, put them in this sequence. That's the starting rule. That's the starting rule. Okay, so as a lead comes in, if they fit that criteria of being on that list, and we're going to tell that through the form, we're going to let the system know through the form, through setting up the form. The moment someone goes to an opt-in page and they enter their name and email, that's a form into the, into, the, into the form. They enter their name and email into the form, right? That form is separate. That form is a separate asset. That form is where you, where you tell, is it, how you tell the system, where does that lead go? So if, if a lead comes in and, and enters their name and email on a form, what page are they going to after? What list are they going on to after, right? So you could tell the system what to do. Here, I'm telling the system, anyone who goes to that list, anyone who opts into that form, then, then yeah, they get these emails. And all I got to do is click here, send email, drop it, and, and, and set up the email. So this right here, all you're doing is going right after previous step. This could be a, a welcome email. This could be an email that goes out right away, right? Right after previous step, I can wait a number of days. I can wait a number of hours, right? Normally the first email, the first email goes out right after previous step, right? And then, and then, and then this is based on whatever time they're opting in. So it'll go out anytime, any day, name of broadcast, welcome email. It could be the first welcome email or download now email, right? Um, this has to come from your email. So make sure that this is your email. This cannot be a Gmail, can't be a Yahoo. This has to be your custom domain, your email, right? That's what you put in here in the send and, and send from and the reply. Um, and then what we want to do also is send if, send if, uh, this first one is anyone reaching the step. But as you go to your second email and on, I can tell the system only send if they're, su they're still subscribed. Only send if, they open the previous email. Only send if, right? So I can start setting the criteria on the recipients, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to just, on the first email, it's anyone reaching this step, that's fine. Next, single email. I can also test, A, B, split test if wanted, but no, this is single email. 
hit next, and boom, here goes the layout of the email. So I can just simply write in basic text. That's what this is. And, and, and I can just use these dynamic variables, which I always do. I'll copy this, bring it over here, control V. If you're on a PC, control V, I could put it in the subject, in, in, the, in the body, I could put it in the subject line and call them out by their first name, which I always do. If you're on any of my list, I'm always saying your first name in the, in the damn email, right? So, so that's that. That's basic text. I can also go advanced. I can go advanced. I can go design templates. There's my variables. My variables are still there. I'm always going to use my dynamic variables. But if I minimize that, go to design templates. If I go to full templates, Karcher has all these templates. They're already done. I can just use it. I can go off of it. I could freaking click, drag it over, drop the block, and I can freaking work off of this. I can I can delete whatever I don't want, right? I can I can I can move whatever I don't want. I can delete this one and only have freaking these two, for example. I can change out this orange, this button visit us. I can change that out to freaking whatever, right? So I can get I can get pretty pretty freaking gangster with it, you guys, right? I can change that out, right? I can I can link it. So there's the button, right? I can link it. Just simply um, um, put in the, the URL right here. So click here to download now. And boom, you're taking me to a, a PDF link, for example. Click here to join our Facebook group, right? I click and then boom, right here, you put your Facebook link in here in the URL, right? So this stuff is powerful, man. I can link all my social media platforms, hover over the F, put in my Facebook, hover over the Twitter, right? So so this is this is the email sequence. I can go, I can go next. And then I can go create. That's the basic setup. Then once I come over here, I'm gonna I'm gonna simply it's inactive. That one single email, again top left. I click, I drag it over, and I drop it right below. I line it up right. I drop it below. Once I complete the steps, it comes over here inactive. I just simply hover over the the, the uh, three dots, activate, and then I'm gonna line it up, half moon to half moon. I'm gonna line it up, and then I'm gonna hit this right here. Arrange items. Bam. And I can set up freaking 77 more, which is what I encourage you to do, man. Your lead should continue to hear from you until they buy, until they freaking die, or until they unsubscribe and say bye, right? That's just the bottom line. That's the bottom line. You should be communicating. We need to be communicating, but bringing value, not selling bullshit, right? Actually educating people and educate the end consumer on what the hell you're, you're doing, right? What they opted in for, for example, right? That's what this is all about is getting people to opt in. How do we capture leads online? First of all, where, where are they going when they click, right? You want me to click? Okay, where are you taking me? Again, landing page. The moment they opt in, email automation, right? That's what this is all about. So boom, I can set up a handful of emails to go out from this point on, man, in this sequence. So there's the sequence. And then the pages, the pages, right? We got the opt-in page, the thank you page. And then the last, actually, we got my calendars, my calendars, which is what we want to set up for sure. My calendars, but real quick, it's the form. Now that I have the opt-in page, now, now that I have the thank you page, I want to come over here to my forms. I have to create a form. I have to create a form for that opt-in page, for that opt-in page, right? So here's the form. They're going to come over here, Form. We're going to name this one clients. We're going to name all, everything the same. Everything. If you can mount, if you can see what I'm doing, opt-in page clients, thank you page clients, email list clients, email sequence clients, my form clients, right? That's all part of the same funnel. It's all part of the same campaign, right? So you want to, you want to keep that name consistent um, throughout. So here I can ask for whatever the hell I want. I can even make up fields if I want, right? But if you're trying to get people to opt in, right, download something, watch a video, watch a training, whatever, um, it's it's normally just name and email, man, is all you really want to be asking for. The more information you you ask for, the less lead you're going to get. You could get high, you could get higher quality for sure. You just got to be willing to spend more. If you're running ads and you're over here asking for a whole freaking damn report on somebody's history of themselves, right, like all their credentials and all that shit, if you're asking for all that it's going to take you way, way more in advertising money to, to find that lead. But now when you find that lead, that could be a $55,000 deal for you for all I know, right? When you find that lead. So it could be worth it. It just depends on how you're running your business, man. Um, if you're just trying to, if you're going after the masses and going after um, quantity, then, 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 then 
name and email. Name and email is all you is all you really want. So there's there's the field for that. And then I hit save the green one and then boom, save and next confirmation, single opt-in, double opt-in. We're going to go with single. And then right here, this is where I tell the form where to send that person after they opt in. So after they opt in, they're going to the thank you page. That's the success page. Okay. So that's the thank you page. That's the success page. Save and next. We're not going to send a welcome message here. I can send out an, an email right away. The moment they opt into this form, boom, email gets sent out right away, which it is in the sequence. If you remember a couple minutes ago, in the sequence, that first email goes out immediately. That's where I send out the, send out the welcome. I don't send it out here in the form. So I just go save and next. Automations, I can tag them. But what I want to make sure I do for sure is subscribe them to a list. So that that opt-in, when that person opts into this specific page, to this specific form, they're going to be automatically put onto the client list, okay? Um, sequence, uh, subscribe to sequence. This is not this is not where I subscribe into the sequence. I simply um, um, put that in the automation. So I don't do it here. Um, and then I'll do it on, yeah, I'll do it on a different automation page. So save and next, save and next. And then over here, I will use this form. I use that first one save and next, and that's it. And that's it. Now, the last one. And then the My Calendar, that's pretty self-explanatory. You guys can go through that. In fact, I'll make a whole other video on the calendar. In fact, yeah, that'll be tomorrow's video or the next video that comes out. Um, I'll link it here in the description as well. I'll do a video on, on the calendar because the calendar is so freaking important, man. Again, if you guys are in the business of, of appointments, if you're building a business online on social media and you're trying to get appointments, you need some type of online calendar. A lot of you guys use the freaking Calendly and try to get a, try to get away with the free version of it. You can only do that for so long because eventually because eventually you will want you will want to pay because as you pay for their upgraded version or whatever, you're now allowed more tracking, which is required and necessary through through Facebook if you're running ads, right? If you're running ads, um, so you can only use a free Calendly for so long, man. Um, then you need then you need some type of calendar. So I'm gonna make a video on that. So so click that link in the description. But um. But but over here real quick, over here real quick, we want to go back to the opt-in. We want to go back to the opt-in. Now that we just set up the form, we're going to end it here. We're going to go back to the opt-in and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to make sure that the form, the new form that we just created, which we named clients, right? We want to make sure that, that that form is what is on the page is what's on the opt-in page. So this is what we do over here. So we're going to just um, scroll down just a bit and we'll see it here. And it'll just it'll, it'll, it'll allow us to hover over it. And all I'm look all I'm looking for is the little pencil. There's the little pencil. So this is the form, right? So I want to hover over the little pencil. I want to click on the edit, the pencil. And then I want to come over here and go to hit the drop down and go to that form. That's the new one we just set up. Clients. Click apply and boom. Now that form is there. So now what I want to do is I want to hit actions. I want to save progress. And I want to publish live. That's it. And depending on what country you're in, right? Depending on what country you, you're in, if you need the um the 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 um like the GDPR and certain um disclaimers, then this is what you want to do for sure. As people land on that page. Over here in the top right, you can click on the, the drop down and you're going to go down to right here, GDPR and CCPA. So if you click on that, that would actually, let's see what happened. Let's go back. I actually know what I don't have access. I don't have access to that. My bad. I don't have access to that because this is, I'm in a, I'm in a client's account. And, and so I don't have access to that, but that's where you can turn off the little, the little um, notification that is on this form. So as I, let me refresh this page. So here is the new form. This right here, I would like to receive future communications. I agree to, to GDPR. If you're in a country that you need that, then, then leave it there. But, but if, if, if you're in the U S for example, um, I don't put it on mine. Um, so what I do in my account again, is I, I just come over here. I, I click on the drop down. I go to GDPR and I uncheck the boxes. So they don't show on my forms as I create new forms for new pages, right? So, so that's the basic opt-in, you guys. That's what this software is all about. That's what I use it for, man. And, and not to mention to sell my damn product. So not only did I create the product through my memberships, 
create my 55 video course, right? If you're into digital publishing, if you're into online learning and you're creating courses, you don't need Kajabi. Everything is in here. Um, so in my memberships, I'll create that, that, that course. I'll host the course, not create it. I'll host it on Kartra, right? I'll host it on Kartra and I'll also sell it through Kartra as well. So my products, I, I create a product, they click, it goes to my Stripe, blah, 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 right? So the product is also sold. The digital product is also sold, sold in Kartra. So, so Kartra is the shopping cart um, as well. So it's, it's my communications, it's my pages, it's, it's my calendars, you guys, um, in, in most cases. And so on the next video, I'll put together a calendar. But, but now that I go to this simple page, let's close out the thank you page. That person, let's go back to, um, let's go to my communicate. Yeah, my communications. So over here, there's no leads, right? Right here, there's no leads. There's no leads in here yet. There's no leads. As I come in and I opt in, right? Let's just check the boxes for now. I hit submit. I then should be taken to the thank, to the thank you page, appointment confirmed, right? But I'm going to set up the calendar. So it's really when you enter your name and email, a calendar is going to pop up. That's what's going to happen on that first page. But let's say that happened. Boom. They come here, appointment confirmed. Now, what I would do next, and this is a whole other video, this link would be set up through Facebook. Facebook would be tracking the visit. That's how you track your cost per lead. That's how you track how much is being spent. That's how you, you, you create custom audiences around your leads and you start to exclude these people, these leads, people who have landed on this specific link, you start to exclude them from future ads. That's why this, this confirmation page is, is so, so important. So that's a basic funnel, you guys. Basic funnel, your, your, your list, your, your sequence, your pages, and for sure, um, your, your online calendar. So what I'll do in the next video, you guys, is I'll do a whole full-blown tutorial on the calendar setup and really show you how I maximize that. So again, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you, you, you smash that bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. I'll see you guys on the next video. Over now.